Good morning everyone, how's everything going? I just want to talk about this journey, this little trip and this little like, it's gonna be a bit different than your average video, just like vlogging and traveling and seeing all this cool, amazing stuff and this amazing stuff, a bit different. I ended up going, when I was in Catherine in the NT, I ended up staying in this place called the Conto Hotel. Uh, nice place, beautiful air environment, but I was getting so stuck because I was working 60 hours, 65 hours, weeks. So I was getting up five in the morning, up to like 10 to do a breakfast shift, 11, and then from then I go to housekeeping to like three in the afternoon. And then I'll have like a two, three hour break and then back at six at the restaurant to do my work. So the sun is very bright at the back. <laughs> and that, it was good, the money was very good, but I ended up not having a life. And I ended up getting in my head a lot of, oh, like it is what life really is. And I really ended up like getting myself and taking myself back to a dark place that I didn't want to be in. And that was just something that I was just not happy with. And I needed to take a break. So I pack up my car and go to the crocodile jumping. I just want to see this crocodile jumping in Adelaide River towards Kakadu National Park and sat there seeing this like majestical creatures, you know, the seawater crocodiles, which to be fair, I haven't seen one before. And this, this animals were huge. The scales on them, when you look at them, they were just, I mean, I really don't know how to explain how they were. I mean, I'll, if I have a look at the footage, I mean, there was this one, huge one that was just long at least it was like five meters long you can see his scales in his so detail his mouth his teeth everything now this creature was very intimidating and this creature was like 80 years old like he was very old but he still was agile he could still do all the tricks he wanted to do it was good to see something completely different of the ordinary and break that routine to clear my thoughts <clears throat> that really really needed to happen yeah after seeing all of them crocodiles we then drove to darwin needed a break in the city so got to the city uh to Mindel Beach and it's just sand the beach uh, took some cool shots with a drone you can see he, just the ocean was clear it was nice and quiet it should look around Darwin to be fair really surprised me really quite by surprise it wasn't the city I expected it to be Catherine where I was living it's like three hours drive from Darwin is I don't want to sound horrible but it wasn't the best place to be <laughs> basically it was a bit rough uh, I didn't really, really like it that much. The point is that I was losing my mind in Catherine. I was getting a bit carried away by just making money in a way that I was not happy with, making money in a way that I was not enjoying. I was also getting carried away with the whole idea of having to work lots of hours to try and impress someone, to try and show someone that I could work hard. And that's what I was becoming and I used to be that. And I'm not saying don't work hard, I'm not saying don't work, that's not the case at all. This point is, is that I need to take a break and take a step back and analyze my life and analyze where I wanted to go next. Because I've been getting into like stoicism and reading about philosophy and stuff like that. And you only have one life. And the Stoics said, there's so many things you can change in this life and there's so many things you can adapt to think, but one thing you cannot change and one thing is that keeps happening and you cannot stop, you cannot slow down, it's time. When that time is over, your life is over and there's literally nothing you can do about it. And I was spending those precious seconds of life, minute, hour, days, in a place that I wasn't really happy and I wasn't really enjoying myself at all. So I had to take a break. I had to go and see some crocodiles jumping. I had to go to Darwin. I had not necessarily go to Darwin. I'm not saying if you're going to see some crocodiles jumping, if you live in the UK, that's a bit tough. But no, that I had to take my mind off what I was doing and analyze my thoughts and analyze what my life is doing and see if I was happy in this journey that I was in this direction my life was going. And I ended up kind of conclusion that I was not that happy. Those three days, if I wouldn't take in those two days, three days, I can't remember what it was, two, three days, like going to the markets in Darwin and just having a life that I'm still figuring out what I want to do for my life and what I want to achieve. Just having that life and that freedom and that choice really, really helps generalize the thoughts. Um, for me, just when I was sitting in the beach in Darwin, flying the drone. I just know how peaceful it was and how nice it was just looking at the boats, looking at the marina. And I realized that I wasn't really enjoying my life at all. I was really like, I had some good trips, everything. And then I started working this place. Don't get me wrong, people there were nice. Everything was nice. I was just working too many hours and I wasn't having a life to do this YouTube, which is this new journey, this new project that I'm going on, <clears throat> working on new projects. I didn't have the time because I was so tired. I just felt like this was life and I think like for you guys if you're in the same position like it worked for me just change your surrounding take two three days off and go something and do something you've never done before go to a place you've never done before and just literally change your surroundings and take the time just for yourself if you don't take the time for yourself and you dedicate your time first to other people's life but you start dedicating your time to something else dedicate them to yourself and then you slowly, slowly will start deteriorating and becoming worse and worse off. Well, that happened to me anyway. I will start becoming a bit more depressed, a bit more bored, a bit more anxious. Didn't want to socialize with anyone. Get back there and just have a think, have a thought. 
just have a break and realize that sometimes we do need to break the routine sometimes we do need to escape the ordinary clear our mind clear our head and have a think about it analyze look back in yourself and saying right if i keep going this path where's my life gonna go and that was me i was sat on the beach and i was thinking if i keep going this path I keep doing this what, what am i going to be doing in the next month and i really have to think back and i keep getting carried away and i know some stuff i still need to improve i still need to do better anyway guys that's a little trip trip of what i did to darwin the reason why i did it i know it's a bit different i know it's a bit like out of the ordinary <clears throat> but i just want to share uh, my thoughts and what i have learned and i appreciate how precious this time because we only have one amount of time in this world we cannot take back time or anything and if we get too crowded in our things and we don't concentrate on what we want we will never never get that clear mind that we want to achieve or that clear idea that we want to achieve we can never get it because we're always so focused in these things that are crowding our mind and making us depressed and making us sad so it's good to have a break reassess the situation reevaluate everything that's going on in life and make sure and put the steps in as like this all my life what my life, I keep this part, all my life is going to be in a month ago. All my life is going to be in a year's time. All my life is going to be in five years time. You know, plan. Because as the Stoic said, you can, you cannot control other people's reaction, but you control your reaction. You control your emotions and you can control your thoughts. You have full control over yourself. So apply that knowledge. No one has control over your life. No one has control over your thoughts. Only you have it. And that's just an idea of what I thought on this journey that I'm doing. And hopefully guys enjoyed this video. Uh, Please subscribe, please hit the like button. Again, you don't want to miss out. There'll be some few videos coming just like that. If you like this type of videos as well, please let me know down in the comments. I will <clears throat> do more videos like this more often. But yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed it. Just remember, guys, I appreciate your time. I appreciate your value. And better than everything, get out there, guys, and make it happen.